Good day, Wise and West scholars. Today we'll be looking at the failures of the Treaty of Versailles, or as I like to call it, how Hitler came to power. It really all began with the peace process in Versailles. While the United States, France, and Great Britain did not exactly get all each nation wanted, it was clear that the largest loser was going to be Germany. Without a voice at the peace process and without a choice really, Germany was forced to take the peace terms to end World War 1 without any say. Let's briefly review the peace process and the peace terms of the Treaty of Versailles. Treaty of Versailles. Like our assimilation in class, Germany was blamed for all of World War 1 in the Treaty of Versailles. This resulted in Germany paying huge reparations or war damages, and it really is like a legal reason to do that. Only Germany was required to pay for the cost of the war because they were fully blamed for it. The sum was eventually fixed in 1921 at some 10.4 billion dollars, a huge sum for the time, which many people believe was beyond Germany's ability to pay. Only Germany had to disarm. Germany is allowed to have only a standing army of 100,000, six ships, and absolutely no offensive weapons like U-boats. or big artillery. This is going to be insulting to the nation of Germany. Additionally, new nations were created with self-determination. These new nations were created out of the crumbling Austria-Hungarian Empire and out of parts taken from Russia and Germany. A League of Nations was created. This organization was created to solve problems before they led to war, and it was the main idea of Wilson's 14 points that was represented in the treaty and his biggest gain. The secret word is frosty.